It's getting pretty embarrassing, <laughs> but we've fallen below 2,300. In our attempt to somehow make it, this is some Gambit, uh, to somehow play the Holy Gambit Grail quest. Now, this is some Gambit, so let's stick to it. Then, after some move, F3 is the normal way. And then this is, this is some Gambit. I'm sure I made a video on this one. They're kind of similar. And then after F3, I guess I probably take with my queen. I don't know. I made some video on this at some point. I guess it didn't stick. It never felt truly authentically like a Schrantz Gambit. <laughs> but it does have a lot of, a lot of power behind it. I'm going to go here. Maybe they'll take my pawn and lose. The Von Popiel. That's right. And I think it's William Grafe, who is a Fide master. He made this one I don't know, pretty popular. It's at least semi-attributed to him. So thanks to him, it's on my, my radar. And I had some ideas, but, you know, that was a long time ago. Now I'm just going to play some random moves. Can I make William proud? I might just get a pawn back. <laughs> Should I just take my pawn back? Is that the the gambiting spirit? I don't know. Maybe that's not the the spirit of the gambit. So I, I'm not going to win my pawn back. But instead, I don't know. Hopefully not run into this. Uh-oh. Wait. Can I avoid it? Or can I just gambit deeper? Uh-oh. We're going, we're going deeper down the gambit hole? Because this is now an idea. If he does it immediately, though... Wait. No, this is really stupid. Wait, this is really bad. If he goes here right away, I can go here. And if here, I guess I have to do this and this. And I'm arguing that I'm, I'm mating you. Otherwise, we're just playing some nonsense. But we can't just play nonsense. This is for the Holy Gambit Grail quest. We gotta, we gotta bring our A game. So we can force the king to the H file. But how do I get yet another piece over there? What if I just go for it? I literally just want to caveman checkmate you, and I've also prevented this as an idea, I simply want to go here. I would prefer not to get back rank checkmated. But how does he stop it? If he goes here, I can just bring my rook over because he's not actually threatening a mate or anything. And I would be. So it's, it's, uh, we're playing very simplistic. We're just going straight up for the mate. Okay, he's going to move his F pun. I suppose. So now, he does not at this moment threaten a back rank mate. I go here so that after some check, I have this move. Okay, so that does defend, plus... I am getting back rank mated. Okay, so I defend against that mate... Because I want to take this. He's going to be able to defend. But I feel like I have a lot going for me. Which doesn't feel like I deserve it. But the H-File is now not really where I want to be. So it's time to begin bringing these guys back into the game in a more meaningful way. Let's just make sure the king is nice and stable. I suppose he's coming in this way. I should go here, because at some point this rook is trying to come in. So let's not go for that. He has two things attacking, but that's not enough. Then we swing in for the decisive attack. <laughs> at least that's the idea. Uh, he's still up a lot of material. He's down a lot on time. Okay. 
Okay, random move. I, I couldn't figure it out, so random move. <laughs> random move. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, none of my things are defended, but I don't see any tactics. And all we got to do is quite simply win from this position. Shouldn't be too hard. The thing is pinned. The thing is pinned. He's pinned. Let's go. And that's how you get another gambit for the Holy Gambit Girl quest. It was that easy. <laughs> All right, I actually didn't make any threats. <laughs> but I won the game! All right, so this is going to be the Von Popiel Gambit, right? Black Mardemer Gambit. Is Von Popiel actually recognized? It is! We got the Von Popiel! Now, I made some video on it if you want to see how to actually play it. Also, you can check out William Grafe for a lot more information. I did allow him to take this, <laughs> but... Okay, that's not exactly what happened. And you know what? I'll leave the game in the analysis. If you want to analyze this one, there was probably a lot of mistakes. <laughs> probably a lot of mistakes. I'll let you analyze this one on your own if you're interested. But I should know how to do the stupid spreadsheet by now. We come here. I suppose I ought to add the, <laughs> the notation. It goes a little bit something like this. We will plop this here. You getting ready? You get that's that's far too much. I did not want to copy that much. I want to copy. Come on, stop, 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 un, stop. Just here to yeah, yeah, yeah. Just there, just there. No, just come on. Just if I go this direction and stop. No. All right, it's quite simple. I'm gonna just go right here. Then I'm gonna back up a little. <clears throat> it's quite easy. I'm gonna just. <sighs> Come on! All right, it's quite easy, guys. Guys, look, it's not that hard to copy paste. Look, it's you just simply you just. Okay, there's only one way to solve this. There's, there's literally only one way to do this. Look, it's quite simple. We just easily copy and paste, delete the evidence, and then we are able to mark off our spreadsheet. And wouldn't you know it, we can now mark it off the spreadsheet. And that means we've now won with 25 total gambits, only 741 left to go.